Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create these uh, tabbed sections for your homepage because some of you have been asking me how I did this and because we're not using Wix, we're using Google Sites, it's a little bit different um, but you are able to create these tabs just like that. So it's going to look something like this but in the text box you might write you know, a blurb or some highlight of your website. Remember on your home page you want to summarize the contents of your website. So make sure you put phrase, short phrases and pictures that kind of represent what your website is about. If you look at my example, I decided to put a little blurb about our bioplastics, about plastic pollution, and encouraging people to take action. Um, so let's say I wanted to do one on taking action. So here we go. Take action. Okay. With that, you are able to kind of reformat it so that it's in the center. And you could also add a theme or an image. Um, you can select an Im image from the gallery or you can upload them from Google Drive as you can see here. You could also um, search um, for images. So let's say I wanted to find an image about plastic pollution and I've hit enter. I'll have lots of uh, choices. Um, let's see, take action. Let's say I want this one. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop it right in there. Now, if it doesn't look like something that you like, like for example, the hand is really not showing up here, uh, what you can do is it doesn't really allow you to click and drag this bigger, but what you can do is you can add spaces underneath like this, and that will allow. Um, you know, the hand to show. Um, if you don't like that, what you can also do is instead of making this a background, you could actually make it a uh, an image. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's keep this white in the back and then I'm going to add an image here. Let's say I want to drag this to the side and I want to add an image here. And I'm going to find take action again. And I'm going to drag that into there. And you can see here that way, you know, you have a little bit more control over how the layout is on your page. And you might have to kind of play around with the way um, the text is by pressing enter and things like that. But you can see here generally. Um, you're kind of able to play around with with it by um, kind of working with the formatting. And that's it. Um, all I did to add color was kind of click on this theme button on the side and pick one of these. It's pretty self-explanatory, but in case some of you guys were wondering how I did the banners here, it's very similar to how I did it here. So make sure you guys have, you know, a couple of banners on your homepage. Um, for your website. And that's it.